It's natural for Miss Mia to have this kind of personality, but being able to command tough warriors and first-tier adventurers without any qualms. She is really powerful. The big-bellied Cinderella's, except Miss Hythe, are all busy in the kitchen. Although I can't see it here, I must be very good there. By the way, the male uniforms are not ready yet, so all the male members, including Mr. Hogney and the first-level adventurers, are wearing their usual combat uniforms. Only the female members are wearing new uniforms that symbolize the host of fertility. The strongest faction, the Freya family, even though he worked as a clerk, the people in the store had mixed reactions. Or, like Welf, he feels exhausted or afraid. Or, like Mr. Mord and the others, they were immersed in pleasure with a mischievous smile on their faces. After all, they are dependent on the goddess of beauty. The female members, Miss Hythe and others, they are all beautiful in appearance and their attitude of serving others makes many people happy, but if they want to act, they will be subdued immediately, so even the drunken Mr. Borse and the others are remembering not to cross the limits. So much so that they were in a cold sweat while maintaining an expression on their faces, which was very skillful. What are you looking at with that squint on your face, you filthy thing? What a terrible creature. Go ahead and blind your eyes and fall into hell, you beast. And it seems to be able to kill people with its vision, Miss Horn. Immediately afterwards, a cold and chilling voice penetrated the medulla oblongata, and I could detect the other person's face without even looking at their face. Her true face, so he shouted her name as soon as he turned around. The long gray hair that covers the right half of her face, and the face that is still beautiful despite the extremely cold air. Miss Horn, who fits the term witch's apprentice very well, was forced to wear the same tavern uniform as Miss Hythe and the others, and stood right behind me. She usually wears clothes like a black dress, but now the new cute leaf-colored uniform she is wearing looks very fresh and charming, I'm not so calm. Sweat is running down my neck and my cheeks are twitching, and her eyes are repressed, he finally managed to crack a smile. Hey, Miss Horn is also very suitable, isn't she? This outfit. Then Miss Horn's eyes widened and swayed. Her face turned red as if she could hear that sound effect. Obscene beast. Obscene beast. Obscene beast. Why? It seems like this. Let's leave it aside, how could I be suitable? We lost because of your betrayal, isn't it natural to be the first to receive the punishment? Don't worry about it, just do your best. Hooray, Horn. My screams fell on deaf ears. Miss Horn pulled down the hem of her skirt which was not short at all, trying desperately to cover her slender feet encased in black pantyhose. But she was cruelly abandoned by Mississippi Hythe. Mrs. Horn wanted to face her red-headed colleague, but ended up failing. She couldn't refute a word, she could only blush and tremble. Miss Horn, considered a traitor among the faction, seemed forgiven thanks to her master's words. Although she was pardoned, Mrs. Hythe and the others still believed that she should take punishment well, so it is said that she was first forcibly arranged to be the clerk of the rich mistress. Since she is an attendant goddess, who rarely appears in front of people, curious eyes have been focused on her since now. Mainly, male idols are the main ones praising, here comes the ice-type Yandra girl's cute scene. Of course, it's all your fault. It's all because people like you are still alive. What a shame. Miss Horn shook her head. With her long hair behind her back, her left eye approached with tears, making me cry as hard as I could. She felt as if she was forcibly dying together, and then she was dragged away by Miss Lee, Hythe saying, okay, okay, it's time to go dash, but after that, she still looked at me with a murderous look. I still think this person made the wrong choice. He cares a lot about whether these guys are drunk. Welf held his face with one hand and looked sympathetically at me, who was pale from this series of things, and sighed. Then he said. 
Okay, isn't that good? Besides, minding the store, these guys are also very useful in other places. If the Freya Familia hadn't followed the protection, I don't know what would have happened. Ms. Samira, the Amazon, said with a smile. That was exactly what they were referring to, Miss Harrowheim's leveling up. After all, as soon as leveling up became public in the war game, assassins from nowhere were sent here every day. That's why I said not to expose it, stupid fox. The golden hair and entire head of Mississippi Aisha were rubbed violently, and Mississippi Harrowheim curled into a ball. In the war game where the entire city was watching, Harrowheim San used the multiple hammer many times, so her leveling up became a well-known fact. Although it is only for a period of time, the dirty magic that can increase the level by one level is really true. No one can ignore it, various things like kidnapping, kidnapping or trade. Malice and turmoil are building up towards Miss Harrowheim. Miss Mikoto and I, as well as Miss Aisha, Miss Samira, and the other Amazons also took complete precautions. At this time, the ones who were deployed as guards were the Freya family. It's all fate. The Fox of Compassion will be pushed to the altar of sacrifice. The cause of the disaster arises because of us, so cutting the spiral of cause and effect is also our fault. What are you talking? Beside, Mr. Hogney, who was passing by, muttered something under his breath, making Wealth roll his eyes and look over. Well, that means, Miss Harrowheim was targeted because she fought with us, so we must take responsibility for protecting her. Probably. Mr. Hogney. By the way, how many times has Miss Harrowheim been in danger? I don't know. Hey Dean and I have been alternating surveillance, and I've defeated him. 71 times, that's exactly what I've mastered. It was less than a week after the war game ended. Although it was an attempt, the number of attacks was already quite alarming, which made me let out a strange sound. This made me realize once again how powerful Haruheim Sands level up is, and then I realized that Orario is actually a very restless place. But, forces outside the city probably had a hand in this. Miss Samira and the others are the same, and so are you, Mr. Hogney. Thank you very much for protecting Miss Haruheim. Don't be so solemn, I'll be embarrassed. Mr. Hogney is here now. He could no longer use that strange set of words to form sentences in front of me. His cheeks turned slightly red and he looked away. And, if you want to thank us, don't thank us. Go tell that adult. That's what that person asked us to do. Even though I didn't follow his gaze, I knew who he was looking at. This was the girl with light gray hair who had been busiest in the tavern since then. Hey. Can I have another piece of this tomato pie? Okay. Lord Demeter. Little girl, please, I want wine. Miss Sear was busy running around, participating in the celebration party. The gods' requests over and over again made her seem to look up to the sky at any moment, and even respond with some self-destruction. Seeing this scene, Lord Hephaestus smiled evilly and looked deeply happy, while Lord Takamikazuchi and Lord Mayak showed bitter smiles. The goddess of beauty who distorted the city is no longer here. She's already left here. Now she looks like this. Perhaps because of the side effects of the powerful charm on a large scale, almost no one among the residents of the underworld seems to remember what happened before and after Orario became a sandbox. In other words, only a few people, including us, know that the goddess of beauty is the girl on the hill. At the same time, Miss Seer's true identity was spread among the gods. Nowadays, Labyrinth City no longer needs to be afraid of the threat posed by Charm, but only the gods will come to provoke Miss Cheen. Seer with an indifferent expression. Although Lady Hestia, the representative of the Faction Alliance, allowed Miss Hestia's existence, Seer, 
it seems this level of humiliation is deserved. Miss Sear accepted this. She has apologized to many people so far, heard many complaints and seemed to be slapped from time to time, and now she is being punished. It is said that many people, especially goddesses, think that this level is too light, but, that person no longer has status, reputation, or even wealth. So you should not reciprocate as a goddess, but as a girl. The same goes for the people of the Freya family. Besides having to obey Miss Mia, they should also work in this tavern because they want to minimize Miss Sears' burden. As a loyal family member, I want to share this punishment together. Seer. Where is my brother? We need to have a good talk today. Then we will officially become a family. It's on the roof, right? He's supposed to be watching just the bad guys away from the surrounding area. 